so what you kind of want to do, just go and open up Internet Explorer or Firefox, whatever you like to use. Let it load up, and for this, uh, I have the link for the website you're going to want to use in my description, so just copy and paste that link. What I do, I just go to my bookmarks because I have it bookmarked. The link's rct3world.com or something like that. Um, so just copy and paste that. Good that it's a really good website and pretty organized. Okay, and once you're here, click on custom scenery. If that's probably what you want, click on custom scenery and look around for custom scenery you want. I'm going to be downloading Dark Ride Person's Space Mountain scenery, but you could choose whatever you want. Just scroll through, see what looks cool to you. And when you do it, click on the little glasses to look at the page for it. Normally this will take you to Atari.com. Sometimes it will take you to different websites, but it just depends on where they put this and they'll have a download link. It'll say to download this file, click this link. Click that link. It'll take you to um, whatever website they use, Rapid Share, something turret, some turret, whatever, I don't know. Some website. I'm clicking free user because there's no way I'm going to pay for a website like this. Now I just fast forward here because I have a 60 minute wait for being a free user. So, um, yeah, just hang out, chillax. I oh, didn't want to just skip it because I want to show the whole thing so that people don't get confused at any part. Okay, done. Now type in the low code 6B0, or yeah, so just type that in and hit download. It'll be different for different sites they choose to download from, but that's okay. And now click open or run. Don't click save, just open or run. And I fast forward some more through the downloading of it. And it will open up WinRAR or Win... Oh, uh, that's my virus protection. It will open up WinRAR or WinZip. It's different for everyone. For me, I'm pretty sure I use WinRAR. I can't read the, what it says, but I'm pretty sure I use WinRAR. And then right-click on Roller Coaster Tycoon, your icon, and click Open File Location loca uh, Locator and scroll up on your files and go to style open style up and then themed and now don't click don't drag the dot dot file but drag the file with the name of what you just downloaded into style themed the theme folder just drag it in there uh, let it download I have my virus protection pop up again Wait as it transfers over and transferred and now you could exit out of your WinRAR or WinZip and I like to keep mine in alphabetical order so I just drag it up put it in alphabetical order and now I'll exit out of this and now you could exit out of all your internet explorers and that's all you do and it'll be in your game and it's pretty simple once you know how to do it but Right now, I'm gonna open up Roller Coaster Tycoon. Fast forward through all this loading right here, and I'm gonna show you what I just downloaded. I have some other custom scenery, but I'm just gonna show you what I just downloaded so you could get the kind of style of custom scenery and where to find it, especially once you have it downloaded. I'm open up a new sandbox. It's just what I want to do. Fast forward through some loading really quick. <sighs> Uh, just wait as it loads. Okay, and now you want to click on scenery, the scenery tab, and it'll either be on walls slash buildings or scenery items. Those are the two normal ones for it. And uh, scroll down, and there it is, Dark Person Ride Space Mountain. And I have the choice of all the themes I could use. So that's pretty much the tutorial. If you want to just showing you looks like normal if you want to get more custom scenery you just have to download 
what different people have. Uh, common custom scenery that I've seen downloaded mostly. The main custom scenery is Shy Guy's Rock Set. His is really popular. And just look through, find custom scenery you would like. And that's all. Hope this helps.